Okay, next news. Atheism on the rise in Kazakhstan. Re um, 10 years ago, only 6% of Kazakhstanis were atheists, according to uh, Ainur Aburzarsilksi, the director of the Research Center for Religious Affairs of the Committee of Re on Religious Affairs. Now, this figure has tripled. As of 2019, the share of non-believers in Kazakhstan is now an estimated 18.8% of the total population. And just over 75% of the population consider themselves to be believers, but do not perform regular religious rites and are not frequently involved in the activities of any religious associations. What do you think the no memes are that po po posting on their on our Facebook page? Um. Shout <laughs> 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 uh, out! Yeah, for people who can't see on po uh, on our podcast, bore it because yeah, you know, cause it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do think most people. I think most people who the, basically it's a meme saying very nice. Um, I think most people would never know that this is a country unless it was for because of Borat movies. But yeah, Americans so is, definitely. Yeah. No, well, it was people. part of the Soviet Union, so it was one of the stans for so long that people of a certain age didn't know about it unless you were from a certain part of the, you know, like Eastern Europe. You, just never heard of like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, you know, Azerbaijan, all of those stans, you know. But I think there's a bunch of um, political unrest happening right now in uh, Kazakhstan as well. But I think it's been known to be fairly diverse mm -hmm. and um, multi cultural and, you know. But I think it's good. Yay, Kazakhstan. Yeah, I, mean, if we, I think this is happening globally, so because it's just another country. But again, this is a. I wonder what are they being influenced by? I mean, well, uh, you go. Um, I really liked this article. This article was actually a little bit older, but it was so good, I just had to include it. Um, so it was really interesting. So it talks about how this figure has tripled from 6% to almost 19%. Um, the person who was the director of this research center also said that some people um, maybe indicated that they were atheists in order to avoid troubles. Now that confused me a little bit. Um, um, I think it maybe has to do with kind of coming from the Soviet Union, um, kind of that kind of context. And that's what she meant by that. But this article is really interesting because it also highlights the stories of several prominent um, Central Asian atheists. So, for example, in March 2013, a criminal case was initiated against the journalist and human rights defender Alexander uh, Karlamov, a Kazakhstan uh, uh, Kazakh based wait in Kazakhstan based on his denial of God and his athe atheistic ideology. He was accused of inciting religious hatred and discord, um, and he was acquitted. Um, the court found that the wait no he wasn't no wait the court found that the majority of the population of kazakhstan were believers and the human rights activist expressing his own views on such issues spreads harmful ideas the case was later closed and last year he won um what amounts to um uh about 2500 us dollars from the state for unlawful prosecution um in the same year ex-deputy of the maslihis of the parliament Zumatai Al Alevav um, proposed introducing atheism along with religious studies and educational institutions. After what? six years, he still has the same opinion. Quote, I think atheism should be taught in both schools and in universities because it, there is such discipline as religious studies. This is um, the respect of all. This is for the respect of all citizens of Kazakhstan. It's high time to introduce this lesson into school curriculum. Um, in 2017, a draft law was developed in Kazakhstan that proposed fines for insulting atheistic beliefs of citizens. Um, however, that, what? Yes, I don't know. I don't like that. I don't actually like that, but it's interesting. No. It's co commies. There, he's he's a communist party. I think yeah. this guy. Okay, yeah, this is going too far. We yeah, don't. That's too not. Far. We're this is overcorrection. Um. Wait. 
however, um, yeah, so he that law was drafted in 2017, um, but the document remained within the walls of parliament. No decisions were made on it. The legislative branch has a party representing atheism, which is the Communist People's Party. Guys, we need to blaspheme against atheism. Yes. We need to insult atheism. You cannot, you cannot pass laws to make um, it, w insulting atheist, atheist, really, atheist views a crime? Yeah, no. Blasphemy, guys, we have to pick up our blasphemy to include, <laughs> include atheism as well. Um, uh, yeah, he, then he said himself, atheism is not a new religion, question mark. Our program states clearly the communists promote um, recognition of freedom of conscience, the right to practice any religion or not practice any religion, to separate church and mosque from the state and schools from the church and mosque. At the same time, communists are conducting widespread atheistic propaganda, avoiding humiliation and insulting the feelings of believers in any form. Yeah, so th a lot of this has to do with um, Soviet commie stuff. Yeah, this is not ath just ath. This is atheist with like commie. Uh, you know, I think Ar Arjun was right. Hold on, he was saying something, and I thought like maybe he's wrong, so I didn't. Uh, I don't know if this is like <laughs> influenced by. <Mormonism. laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're right. So yeah, this is not the kind. This is not the brand of non-belief that we um, like. Okay, blasphemy against atheists. <laughs> Hashtag blasphemy against atheists. You know, so somebody said uh, so here. Where is this? Um, Mortar is saying, let's make sexy Darwin. I think sexy Marx would be something that these people would get more, but oh, where is Rifka's back? Uh, would p get people butthurt over. Yeah, we need to make sexy Marx. <laughs> <laughs> There's a certain brand of commie that'd be really into that. Um, oh, I don't... yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah. uh, the new Marxists might actually like that. They would be really into that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> They're like, you're doing our propaganda for us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought this was interesting. It also, um, this article also has a few um, uh, little cute interviews with just like everyday normal yeah. um, Central Asian atheists about their life and what that means to them. So just to be fair, though, even though we don't like Marxism, we accept Marxists as, you know, friends and, you know, because we're tolerant of them as people, even though they have crappy ideas. OK, um, like just don't want to, like, completely alienate the commies or the Marxists that we might have in our audience. OK, you have crappy ideas, but it, you're an atheist and atheist republic is your home, even though you have crap ideas. OK, but uh, Rifka wants to say something. I was just going to say, love the believer, hate the believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rivka, we love you. Um, uh, do you guys have any other commentary on this? Arjun is saying, no, make sexy Lenin. We should make Lenin and Marx making out. Oh, yeah, here, there we go. Have Marx and, oh, no, so Murtad is saying Marx and Darwin making out, that would be blessed. I don't know. I don't think any of this, I mean, Marx is, the new brand of Marxism is like um, this whole critical race theory people. I don't think they would ever get butthurt over these people making out. They would be like, hey, we should make that into a flag or something. <laughs> like if we make Marx and Lenin making out art, they were like, thank you. We're going to put that in front of our propaganda going forward. So yeah, I don't I know have if they would... any problematic yeah. thoughts about this. I can't even say it on air. <laughs> yes. Um, what would they find blasphemy, these people? I got to do a little thinking about that. Yeah, a not a about. Stalin, maybe, but probably not even. Yeah. No, but it's not. You're not blaspheming against them if you make them make out with each other. They would be like, "Yay, we love that!" Right? So that's not something that they would consider. You know, Show even them doing they... something bourgeoisie. Ah, uh, uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> hmm. We have to think about that. Give us, give well, us your ideas. We could ideas. have Marx and like FDR making out or something. <laughs> yeah you know something about def or like something about defeating communism like gorbachev and reagan making out mm. i mean that's not those people are not that sacred to them i um, know but it's still russia i'm just trying to think of something but they probably yeah. don't even know who gorbachev is 
Well, yeah. I mean, I think you know. Uh, Torah saying the Dalai Lama has said he considered himself to be 50% Marxist and 50% Buddhist, so have him make out with Marx. <laughs> um, 